da, 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 da. I'm going to bring in breaking news. Norman Woodstock, Spalding, Bare Bones Radio Broadcasting. This is breaking news. We look at averages and we got percentages going and everything. So we're using percentages and volume and all of them. When we stack up the female experiences, I was just thinking, hi, what does cause more problem in life? Stolen more. Let everyone down more. When you look at whoredom and women behaving in whoredom and women behaving in marriage and decency and, and motherhood, motherhood and decency have robbed the place blind, especially if you look at cash on hand stolen. Now let's look at motherhood and the altar ceremony of marrying compared to whoredom. And of course the proper and the official say these are all they're just prostitutes or whoredom that's Without the altar's blessing, it's whoredom. Without my great minister's uh, uh, authorization, <clears throat> whoredom. Oh, really? Well, okay. Let's compare the damage done by either and both one. Yay, whoredom. Yay, whoredom. Not her humanity near as much. Well, we add up the volume of marriage and motherhood and never the robbery they, they do from the poor man. Poor husband, oh God, <laughs> from the family, from the effect of the whole thing. Wow, hell, whoredom's hardly hurt anything. In fact, the place has got, kept its nose out. Yay, whores, you're so smart, pretty nice people. Now let's look at mommyhood. Oh, what about divorce and, oh, when I look in your heart before you even got to the altar, pretty ga 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 ga. Oh, now let's examine their hearts then, look at the, <gasps> My God, the heart of motherhood is black and greasy, and the heart of whoredom is quite innocent and measy. I'll be darned. Gee, does that mean we all have to be whores? Of course not. We're just remembering hypocrisy. And now irony punishes hypocrisy. Whoa. All you got to do is be honest, and irony kind of like the Passover, leave you alone. Only those that won't be honest about their hypocrisy, irony sure moves a fool of everyone, doesn't it? Ah! Look at the fool motherhood and the altar have done to poor women and the effect of them. Whoa! Look at that! That's a greasy pig hole. The damage of the children, the damage of the house, the damage of the pocketbook of the man, the pocketbook of the man, the pocketbook of the man. For the man and the male, the woe unto the males. Woe unto the males of the society. Oh, woe unto you. <laughs> These whoredoms and marriage older women are out to cause you a lot of goo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'll tell you when you get back and really, you know, you use a very peripheral look and you see all the sequences and add up the percentages and other, yeah, all the cost. This older is costing us everything. Especially the remarks accurate about anything going on. Because of the altar, there's no accurate remarks of anything. Black-hearted conflict. That's what Jesus said. That's exactly what Jesus said in this book here. Of course, nobody quoted Jesus accurately. According to what they misquoted him, that's what he said. He got after them, boy. He saw the same thing I'm bringing to this report. This is breaking news. Well, they're also innocent of the facts. You know what I mean?